Ladies and gentlemen, we all know and love him. He's one of my favorite speakers. And uh, without further ado, can we give a warm welcome to Mr. Dean Torales? into so you guys let me start where i always start and uh let you know how i feel about mr thomas the fact that he does this call um he doesn't need to do it he's a senior vice president and isn't it funny that that he is showing you guys proof uh out there being in phase one personally peaking personally recruiting personally doing the things that he trains on um, so I have a lot of respect for that. I have a lot of respect for you, as you know, Mr. Thomas, I appreciate it. I know that you did a call for one of my guys for Greg Williamson, uh, with a new team that he's got going. And I had a chance to, to hear a little bit of that call. So which you guys, by the way, um, Mr. Thomas does not benefit financially one bit from doing that for my regional director, Greg Williamson. Um, not at all, but what he would tell you is it absolutely has to do with his, uh, income because if he can he can as Jim Rohn said if 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 he can end up in somebody's testimonial right that's what he said if I can end up in your testimonial right uh, uh, my job is done so so uh, Mr. Thomas I appreciate that what you do this uh, this this environment that you've created I think it's great so yeah you guys caught me on an off month like this is not my month like I don't even like what the heck so, so I'm, I'm, you know, you guys have seen me so much over the course of now over four years since Mr. Thomas introduced me a, a couple minutes ago. I'm just glad some of you guys haven't bailed off the call because you, you've heard me, but I do have something for you. <laughs> so I do have something for you. And uh, uh, let me also say hi to a regional vice president on here who's a great friend, uh, Renata. Good to see your picture. I'm looking forward to seeing you and Mr. T. Uh, I believe next week uh, we are going to see each other uh, in uh, in warm climates. So anyway, uh, you guys, hi Renata, how are you? <laughs> hey, so um, let's talk about this for a minute. So I was when Roxanne told me she was a little under the weather, and I'm like, man, I got to think about this for a minute. How do I explain in really easy terms, like the process of what we do? And I, and I wanted to do it in a way that, uh, um, that, that wasn't me hitting you guys over the head with ACN stuff. Okay. And, and the reason why I say that is this, it's not that the stuff's not great. The stuff is great. The stuff's life-changing. But the problem is the familiarity breeds contempt conversation. I've heard this before. And, you know, and then what happens is because we've heard it before, our brain shuts down. And because our brain shuts down, we don't take in the information. And if we can't, if we don't take in the information, we obviously can't apply the information. So I want you guys to think about something. <laughs> okay, I want you to think about this. I want you to think about a tank of gas. That's it. Just think about a tank of gas for a second. And by the way, I know what some of you do. I have an electric car. Okay, I'm not talking about the electric cars. <laughs> like, there's, there's one in every crowd, right? I want you to think about a tank of gas in your car. Okay. Do any of you, besides me, I'll speak for myself, and we obviously know that Mr. Thomas likes to travel. We see him travel by plane a lot, but how many of you, and if the answer is no, if you don't like it, don't worry about it. Don't raise your hand. But how many of you do like ro taking road trips? Get in the car, Right cars packed with a friend whatever and and you are on the road right and and road trips are freaking great right because because you don't know what's going to happen you don't really know what you're going to see right you have an idea maybe it's a place you've been even if it's a place you're, you're road tripping that you have been to you're still going to see other things along the way is that true yes or no you're going to see things right so what happens is this road trips are awesome because typically you're not doing it alone. So you guys, I hope you understand that there's going to be some analogies that are going to be uh, applicable to everything we do in ACN. <laughs> so sometimes you road trip alone. You got to get, you got to hit the road. You want to get alone, clear your head, whatever. But a lot of times road trips are with a friend. They're with a friend, they're with a spouse, they're with a, a family member. Um, you know, there's more than one of you there. So, so, you know, and it's a lot of fun when you do that, do it that way. Right. So you're, you're road tripping and you are, you are hitting the road, uh, with your friend. So your friend comes over to your house, 
car or SUV is packed, chances are before you hit the road, what are you doing? You're probably going to gas up, right? You got to fill the tank. Okay, cool. So you're going to fill the tank. You got snacks. <clears throat> you're good to go. You're ready to hit the road. Awesome. Well, let me share with you guys something. Okay. And I want to make sure that everybody understands this. And I got to make sure that we have Mr. Thomas because uh, he is obviously, this is his call. He can chime in at absolutely any time <laughs> along this, uh, along this conversation. So we understand a tank of gas. That's what this is about today. We're going to take a road trip. And why do we take road trips? We get to see something new. We get to get out of our, our environment. We can get, get out of our comfort zone, go see someone, go see something, go participate in something. Road trips are freaking great. In fact, for a lot of people, the road trip itself sometimes is even more fun and more memorable than the place you end up going. Who's, who's ever had that experience? The person that you're with and what you go through may even be more and kind of a, a more impactful than, than where you would actually end up going. But anyway, road trips are fun. So first thing, your friend comes over, you guys are pulling the car out of the driveway. The first thing is you're probably stopping at the gas station. And while you're stopping at the gas station, you got to fuel up. So there's going to be a, you guys, there's a lot of, uh, the, the, this is analogous to what we do in our business. So check this out. Okay, here goes. Follow along. <laughs> the same tank of gas, the same tank of gas that you use to start your trip will not be the same tank of gas that you use in the middle of the trip. And it will not be the same tank of gas you use at the end of your trip. The same tank of gas that you started that trip with will not be the same tank of gas that you use in the middle of your trip. And it definitely will not be the same tank of gas that you use at the end of your trip. But wait a minute. It's the same car. It's the same engine, same wheel, same tires, same brakes, same transmission, same everything. But the gas is different. How about this? Prices are going to change. The price that you pay for a gas, uh, a, a, a tank of gas in, in SoCal uh, is not the same as, the, as it is here in Kalama, Washington. And it's not the same as it is <clears throat> with Mr. T in Vegas or Twyla in Cleveland or Doug Douglas in the Sacramento area. It's not the same. But wait a minute. It's the same car. It's the same tank. Same wheels, same transmission, same stuff, but the fuel costs a different amount. So what in the world does this have to do with ACN? If the same tank of gas that you're starting your trip that you want, which is amazing, sun's coming out, awesome. The same tank of gas that you're using to start your trip, your journey, maybe put that in quotes, the same tank of gas that you're using to start your journey is not the tank of gas that you're going to use in the middle of your journey. And it's definitely not going to be the tank of gas that you're using at the end of your journey, getting to your destination. The same people that you work with that help you and maybe you get promoted to executive team leader are not probably going to be the same as the ones who are with you when you go regional director who are probably not going to be the same is the ones that are with you when you walk the stage as a regional vice president. But interesting, ACN doesn't change. The, the opportunity doesn't change. In fact, it gets better, right? The environments don't change. We go around to these different places around the country, but isn't it funny? People are the same everywhere, yes or no? Isn't that funny? They're the same, right? So your vehicle is the same. The engine is the same, right? The brakes and wheels and tires are the same. The company is the same. The co-founder is the same, right? The, the opportunity to jump on Zooms and get trained is the same. But the fuel is different, right? You're going to run out of fuel. So I'm telling you guys right now, like you run out of fuel, okay? So, so if you run out of fuel, what, you guys, how simple is this to understand, when you run out of fuel, someone tell me, what do you do? <laughs> you fill up and you get more gas. But you know what so many people do? 
their car runs out of gas three miles or two miles or a mile from the gas station. They get out of the car, they stare at it, and they go, the car doesn't work. This doesn't work, right? That's what they do. So someone decides not to continue in ACN. Oh, man, I knew this. It didn't work. And now you're, you guys, give me a break. Go fill up. Go fill up. Now, if you're trying to get somewhere, what would probably be a reasonably good idea? GPS it. Now, am I saying only stay on the GPS route? No, go break off, go explore, go see. But know where some stops are, know where some destinations are just in case so you know that you always have gas in the tank. How does that work? Mr. Thomas actually gave the example of what I was talking about in this training before I even started. He's, you guys, do you understand that when he's out there doing phase one and peaking people, that he is literally not only filling the tank, his tank is full. Do you realize that he's driving around? I mean, this is like, uh, um, this is like Mad Max. Like, 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 <laughs> like gas is valuable and he's got, he's got gas. Why? He's got gasoline in the tank. Why? Because he's got people in, in, in queue. He's got people to talk to. He's got people to follow up with. How, how's your tank? You guys realize that you can't get where you want to go if there is no fuel in your vehicle. Like, it, it, you guys, it, it's like, it's like, it, it's like, you know, that's a pipe dream. And then you're going to watch all these other people on their way to wherever the destination is. And you're sitting by the side of the road looking at your car going, well, you know, you don't understand. You know, my car had a tough day today. Like, come on. Come on. Where you go and where you travel on your destination, stuff's going to change, right? It's inevitable. So when it does, I'm sweated. I told you stuff was going to change. But you got you to gotta refill. You got to – there you go. Kush, thank you. Thank you, right? The fuel is in my pipeline. New leads, that's it. You guys want to know how to make sure that you're always in business? New leads, new people, right? I mean, staring at the staring at the car that's on empty and complaining about it is ridiculous. Staring at the car and making excuses or justifications, that's a big word I've been using lately. Because can't people justify just about anything? If it, if people were if people got it good as good at ACN as they were justifying why they can't do this, can't do that, can't sign up this, can't sign up that, won't talk to them, won't talk to her, won't talk to him. It's crazy. Well, here's what happens on the side of the road, right? <laughs> you're on the side of the road wanting to get to the place that you're trying to get to this destination, right? And then it's the woulda, coulda, shoulda conversation. Well, I would have, I just would have realized, I would have, I, I could have, I probably should have. Do you know that in the car, that th there's, a, there's a fuel warning that comes on? You're running low, right? Some of them will even give you the exact amount of mileage that you have left in the tank, which is crazy. So you're probably stuck and you're angry and you're disappointed and maybe even upset and you should have fueled up. But the thing of it is here, fueling up is not very difficult. In fact, fueling up is freaking simple. Here's how you fuel up an ACN during your day. Would you guys like to know? Yes or no? You're out, you're living your life, pay someone a compliment, ask them a question. That's it. Pay them a compliment and ask them a question. Everybody can do that. Hey, Joe, Harry, Mary, Bob, Sally, whomever. Hey, listen, I want to let you know, I saw, I was in line at the checkout and I saw um, how kind you were to that person. I just have a quick question. If it didn't interfere with your schedule here, do you look at other ways of making money? Well, yeah, I always do. Great. Listen, I got to go. I'll be back. Uh, you just, that was really impressive. We're, we're working on something pretty significant and you leave. 
do you realize that that person is probably hoping and praying that they see you at the store again? Why don't you just tell them everything right there? Because you filled the gas tank to the appropriate amount, the appropriate level. You put more in, the fuel's going to come out the side of the tank. It's going to go all the way down the side of the car. It's going to get on the tires, and it's going to be a mess, and you're paying for it. Don't overfill it. Leaving a little room, leaving a little wiggle room can be very, very, very advantageous when you are piquing someone's interest. In other words, you filled it for the environment and the time and the relationship that you have with that person. So if you want to refuel, you guys, here's some ways to refuel. Number one, refuel by being in phase one. That's the first way to refuel. The fastest way to refuel. Here's another way to refuel. Taproot. I'm not going to get into a tap rooting training, but I am going to tell you this. Find a rep for a rep. You work with that brand new person. They have a list of names and numbers. You work with those people as if they are your own personal recruit. How else do you fuel up? You know, Mr. Thomas said it. You know, folks, there's going to be some people that are thirsty for leadership that are going to be in Lake Tahoe with us Wednesday, Thursday, and leaving Friday morning this week. And we have confirmation that Tony Kupas is going to be there. It's going to be bananas. You fuel at an event like that. You fuel at a national. I love that every single call that I go on, doesn't matter when it is, Mr. Thomas, at one point in the call, will let you know the exact number of days it is to the next national. Why? Because it's refueling. It's refueling. So, you guys, if... if if your business is maybe not like operating to the degree that you want it to be operating right now, right? If it's not, if it's not, if it's not propelling you forward, if the wheels aren't moving, if the engine's not running, right? Or it's sputtering. I'm telling you, you're probably driving on fumes. And you just got to fill your tank of gas. And what happens? You hit the road with your friend. No worries. You're going to get where you want to go. You're going to see the things you want to see. You're going to be able to off-road and take a path less traveled, come back onto the main highway. You're going to be able to do all of those things if your tank is full and you are, you are watching that. And you are aware of it and you monitor it. You guys realize that in any given day, if you simply pique some people's interest over the course of the day, that in and of itself is fueling your tank. Not only do you have prospects that you can be talking to, but it's how you are going to feel about the action you are taking on a consistent basis. So, so I know it's getting to be like, um, it's funny, it's been raining up here for like, rainy cloudy then the clouds break for a minute but this is a beautiful beautiful day i i you know if this was yesterday i would have been doing this in the house but um not today pretty nice so anyway i just thought at this time you know like there's a lot of spring breaks are done everybody's getting ready to kind of get to summer vacation there's gonna be a lot of road tripping going on there's gonna be a lot of people traveling all around people know people everywhere and if you're tanking gas is full and you're able to 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 build a network into these other areas, like really great things are going to happen for you. Um, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, it is not my responsibility to uh, to fill your tank. And it is definitely not Al Thomas's responsibility uh, to fill your tank. Now, he will do things that will fill your tank like this call. People that work with me, we will do things. But that is not my responsibility, and that most assuredly is not his responsibility. It is not we're not a crewman's responsibility. It is your responsibility to fill your tank. Now we will help you. We will take the road trip with you. Believe it or not, we'll even guide you through some of those areas. Why? Because we've been through it. But you can't go if there isn't any fuel. So uh, hope your gas tanks are full, or you fill them today and uh, do that straight until the national. And now you're going to have an army of people going on a roadie with you. Now you got a convoy. <laughs> now you got a convoy rolling into uh, rolling into Cleveland, Ohio, and watch what happens after that. So, Mr. Thomas, I hope that was helpful. Um, kind of thought about that this morning after confirming with Roxanne that I was going to cover this today, and I wanted to just 
um, maybe do some messaging that I hope uh, at this time of the year, maybe it uh, um, will resonate with someone. So uh, I'll turn it back over to you. 